All right. How are you? I'm good. What about you? I'm also doing really well. Thank you for asking. How was your day? Oh, uh, my day was good. All right. That's good to know. Yeah. How do I pronounce your name? Could you please help me with that? Yeah, it's M S Nagda. M S Nagda. So uh, M S must be an initial for something, right? What is that? It is me and my father's name, Mahesh Chandigarh Nagda. All right. Nagda. All right. So you go by uh, M S only. Yeah. All right. Okay, that's really interesting. Okay. So uh, M S, have you? Yeah. 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 I'm also M S Dhoni fan, so you know it suits. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, that's really interesting. Good for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. What, what about you? Uh, my name is pronounced as Maria. Ma Maria Hockey. It's uh, hockey or something. No, no. It's H pronounced as Maria Hack. Maria Hack. Maria Hack. Okay, yeah. Maria Hack. Yeah. Okay, and where are you from? I'm from Delhi. What about you? I'm from MP. All right. Oh, nice place. I've never visited. <laughs> okay, but yeah. I visited daily, and it's very you know hustle and bustle and <laughs> uh, yeah, it's traffic. always hustling and bustling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, depends on which part of Delhi you're going to. Not all parts are as crowded, but yes, mostly it's crowded only. Okay, so MS, have you gone through today's sessions document? Do you want to discuss that? Yeah, yeah, I've gone through the session document and it's amazing. All right, okay, that's good to know. Uh, so, would you like to speak on the extempore topic? What do you think about uh, those? Uh, okay, so I don't exactly remember. I think it was about social media. Yes, right? social media is making us more anti-social. What are your thoughts on that? Yes, that's true. I think it's true. And why is that? The reason is that when you know we are so engrossed in our cell phone, and uh, when we are going somewhere, even sitting with someone, we are not focusing on that. Right. When right. we are talking to the person who was not not sitting behind us and uh, doing that sit. So uh, what I think is that uh, we should talk to the person who is right next to us, and you know even this happen is that uh, we are even at her house, so we are not speaking to our parents and our siblings, and we are speaking to even the person who is in cell phone, and uh, we are not very social these days because everyone is busy with their cell phone. I think. True, very true. But do you think that during the pandemic it helped us connect to each other more? Definitely, it helps. But uh, it's once in a while that happens. You know, pandemic is not so frequent. So yeah, at yes. that time it was it was good and definitely social media helped us helped us to you know uh, stay in touch. But uh, if I talk about overall social media, then definitely it's making us anti-social. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Of course, agreed on some aspects. Definitely. So, are you on any social media platforms, or do you like to stay away from them? Yes, I am on social media platforms like WhatsApp, Instagram, YouTube. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I have some certain limits that uh, till I using social media and then I'm giving time to my parents, my family and the uh, my loved ones. All right. That's a good thing. I mean, you have struck a balance and uh, yeah. that is what is missing in most people. Definitely. All right. Uh, those are some good thoughts. <laughs> All right. OK, so let's talk about the topic for the day, which is football versus cricket. Okay, so which one do you prefer? I think you prefer cricket only because you're an MS Dhoni fan. <laughs> yeah, you are right. Uh, I prefer cricket only. I don't know much <laughs> about football. I know some names like, you know, Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, yeah, that's yeah. all. <laughs> but I don't yeah. have much ideas regarding football. So I, I, watch, uh, I watch cricket, I play cricket. So I'm with cricket. All right. Uh, so, mm -hmm. have you ever played cricket like professionally or did you only play it with your friends? No, no, not professionally. I only played with my friends. All right. Do you still play with your friends for cricket? Uh, not so often, but yeah, once in a while. But mm -hmm. In earlier time, like when we were in school and college, yeah, we used to play it daily. But these days, you oh. know, everyone is busy with their life, with their career, with their jobs. So, mm -hmm. we don't get time understandable understandable yeah. so many things have been left behind because of that Definitely. all right 
and uh, what do you know about uh, cricket like do you know all the rules everything do you follow with the cricket news what about that yeah almost all all the rules uh, all the cricket news and all uh, those are happening around cricket ecosystems yeah i know um, almost the everything all right okay and can you find any similarities between the two games hmm uh ha yeah. the similarity is like you know when uh, in cricket there are ms dhoni and virat kohli as in football there are uh, messi and ronaldo no they are not you know uh, against each other but their fans are against you know when you are ronaldo fans you don't like messi when you are messi fans don't like ronaldo the same in cricket like you know when you are ms dhoni fan most of the ms dhoni fan don't like virat kohli and most of the virat kohli fans don't like ms dhoni understand yes uh, that's a good observation <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right and um, what do you think is more popular in our country cricket or football definitely cricket is even uh, sort of religion in our country i would say uh huh yeah so mm-hmm. it's far uh, far from you know uh, football is you know our indian team is not in fifa so not yeah. very popular in, especially in india but if i talk about international level then definitely uh, football would be more but cricket is if talk about india and especially asia then definitely uh, cricket is mm, the favorite one totally agreed and uh, who do you have any favorite players from football so you already have ms dhoni for cricket anyone for football yeah i like both you know ronaldo and messi i both i like both all right and yeah. have you ever partaken in any grand celebration of uh, whenever you know india has won or any grand celebration that has happened in the recent years no i haven't uh, but no? yeah i know uh, soon uh, you know in this ipl i will try to you know uh, go to the grounds and watch cr- uh, cricket from there oh wow that's going to be really fun have you ever yeah. watched cricket live no not yet from not from the ground <laughs> not from the ground but you would yeah. like to definitely All no right. the, the reason was uh, when, uh, when i was living in indore for last 3 or 4 years you were not even single match held there i don't know why yeah. unfortunately <laughs> but i couldn't go even uh, when uh-huh. i was shifting indore 3 uh, years back so i i had a, this plan or in my bucket list that definitely i am going to watch cricket because you know in indore there are international matches are going on so definitely i am going to watch but till till Uh, that day to now you know not a single match happened there because of this corona and all the things mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's really really sad okay yeah. so ms we're almost at the end of our session i have a few suggestions for you so should i go mm-hmm. ahead with that yeah sure all right okay so uh, ms first of all i would like to applaud you on your sentence structure and your interaction you can interact really well you can hold on to a conversation give examples so on that front you're doing really well even the vocabulary part is uh, really good you used uh, a lot of different words to explain your thoughts so that's really really good okay so uh, i could find few mistakes here and there which i would like to point out so that you can uh, try to improve on that right one was the pronunciation of engrossed okay so i noticed that the o was being pronounced with like you know what opening your mouth uh, more so it's engrossed or mm-hmm. or sound right engrossed right mm-hmm. um another sentence i wanted to point out uh, was who is in the cell phone so for cell phone we'll not use in here you can use on on would be a better choice of preposition here people on the cell phone or, right you know or people on phone people are on phone so on would be a better preposition here right yeah. another thing for social media uh, so social media i noticed that in a few places the first s was coming off as sh sure, show sure. right so in focus on that uh, it will be social media social okay. media right okay. um in one of the sentences i noticed that the auxiliary verb or helping verb was missing it was till i using social media so uh, here an am is missing till i am using social media right so am is missing uh, another one was pronunciation of football i noticed that um, again in a few places it was correct but in a few places i noticed that the o was being mispronounced right so football need to open football. the mouth a little because that is a long vowel here it is a long vowel so football right okay, okay. um okay another one was job so job also i noticed that um, the o pronunciation was a little incorrect so job again you need to open your mouth and speak speak it out okay sure. uh right 
and i did not notice you using a lot of filler words or uh, using your filler word a lot uh, but in a few places i noticed you know being used but that was not to a level that it hinders your speech so maybe you can keep that in mind or maybe not because it's not happening that often so it's okay only we all have certain filler words that we use from time to time right mm. uh, okay one last sentence i wanted to point out ms was when i was shifting in door 3 years back the sentence is a little incomplete right so this uh, is a thing that you're talking about that has happened in the past so here uh, using past continuous is not really preferred you can just say when i shifted to indoor 3 years back instead of when i was shifting to indoor 3 years back right so when i shifted to indoor 3 years back right so uh, those are few of my suggestions and that's the feedback from my end anything you want to add or say ms no no it's a sufficient and wonderful feedback by you <laughs> all right and okay. i work on all the things of course yes mm. so i noticed that uh, you have been on clapping go for a while how has your experience been yeah my experience has been amazing and you know i'm interacting with uh, different different tutors so you know my right. I, i'm not hesitant anymore and uh, i can speak with anyone can have conversation with anyone and i'm qu right. quite you know i have improved a lot i have come a long way and I still have wow. to go but yeah still I, i i consider it you know i have improved a lot Oh wow that is wonderful well it was lovely speaking to you ms all the best for all your future endeavors as well bye bye